truths about electroseismic EKS or seismoelectric SES technique and water witching. See videos for a lot more info. Where to avoid. This excerpt was taken off of the ground flow webpage the developers of EKS and they are stating where to avoid sedimentary deposits those are unconsolidated zones sandy zones where water would collect such as river basins boulder beds and gravel zones these are detrital zones water flows freely within gravel zones where to avoid cavernous limestones listen closely water filled caverns are too large and permeable to image using EKS water only collects in unconsolidated rock formations that is cavernous formations fracturing sandstones sedimentary rock formations boulder beds gravel beds called detrital zones sedimentary deposit formation such as sandy zones here is a web page address that's still viable Geological Licensing Board of the State of Oregon has requested that I investigate your methods and claims. Currently, an individual in this state is using your methods and equipment. I have talked to several SEG geophysicists, that is, Society Exploration Geophysicists, and exchanged email with several others regarding EKS and seismoelectric methods. The consensus seems to be that this technique is still in the R&D stage and not ready for routine use in geophysical applications. However, your website suggests otherwise. Please respond. Although I did post the article to SEG, it was not an endorsement. There has been much work done attempting to merge electrical and acoustical data to produce refined interpretation of the subsurface. But the EKS claims of reading resistivity produced by a seismic wavefront with an instrument that has no scientific vetting or peer review is unfounded. It's a black box. As far as I know, electrokinesis has never been acceptedly proven as a reliable technique for groundwater or any other kind of exploration mapping. The most efficient way to site your boreholes is to hire a reputable geophysical consulting firm with a track record in this kind of mapping. You can tell by the articulation that an educated person wrote this. A, a client had a conversation with L.O. Lynch stated as far as how to find a specific location in reference to drilling a well. They have a water dowser, Jess Mosa, they use, or he could use a guy who uses instruments, but they have about the same success rate. Have you got in touch with Ken L.O. Lynch to confirm who is he referring to? It may be National Water old name Northwest Aquifer. person he was referring to is a Ron Bartow. Shy away from any unscrupulous driller that recommends EKS or witching. They all know both are unfounded. L.O. Lynch stated in email that Ron Bartow is no more successful than a witcher with his instrument but they have about the same success rate. This is an excerpt on the final page of an EKS report that is stamped with a California seal. The geophysicists only, why did they use the word only? 
geophysicist only certifies that based on a documentation received, meaning he received it, the data was recorded and the interpretation completed. Listen closely. The documentation was received and was recorded and the interpretation completed according to the general procedures for recording and interpreting EKS data that NWAS, Northwest Aquifer System, requires its franchisees to use. Listen closely. According to the general procedures for recording and interpreting EKS data that Northwest Aquifer Systems requires its franchisees to use. What this sentence is saying that the interpretation was made by the franchisees, not by the geologists nor the geophysicists who stamped the report. The results presented in this report are interpretations based on field data. These interpretations are opinions based on geophysical theory, experience, and judgment, and in no way do they imply or suggest a warranty by geophysicists of such interpretations. They advertise that they can tell gallons per minute in depth, and here the geophysicists over here did not do the interpretation the franchise C did the interpretation. And the geophysicist is saying in no way do they imply or suggest a warranty by geophysicists. The geophysicist isn't verifying the gallons per minute. He's not warrantying them, nor the depth of such interpretations. This is almost a disclaimer. He is putting on a disclaimer as to what Northwest Aquifer Systems is advertising that they could do for the client. These are excerpts from the web pertaining to EKS Electroseismo. Water well locating. Locate well water before you drill. Let's analyze this. No way do they imply or suggest a warranty by the geophysicists. But on a web page it says locate well water before you drill. Get depth and yield estimates. This guy will not warranty it. Never drill a dry well. This guy who stamps it with a California seal will not warranty it. It sounds like he's aiding and abetting with a disclaimer. Doesn't sound right. Anyway, read this real carefully 